watched our SEMA coverage, you know that Dynocom's got a very exciting new product called the Value Series that's been wildly successful. But since we're here at PRI in more of a hardcore racing application, we're here to talk about the big boys, and I'm here with Allison. Congratulations on the Value Series. That's done really well for you guys. It really, it was overwhelming the demand that we had for that. So it's been very, very good. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. It's exciting to, to see those orders roll in, I'm sure. But I'm excited to talk about this big fella behind us. It's called the 15,000 Series. You were telling me earlier that when it comes to dinos, one size doesn't fit all. That's correct. We are at the Performance Racing Show. This is about hardcore racing. This is about drag racing. This is high horsepower, high mile per hour. For that application, you need to go to a large diameter roller. And there's a lot of advantages to going to um, a 24 inch roller or larger for high horsepower, high torque, high speed. So, so when it comes to high performance, you know, some of the some of the stuff we're seeing here, dragsters or big dually trucks, why is this big big roller style going to fit their needs better? Exactly. The 15,000 series has everything you need. It's got a 102 inch track width. It's four bearing system. That's really important. When you only have a two bearing system, you've got deflection in the center of the roller. Um, once again, 102 inch for duallys, but not just for duallys. I drive a Mustang and just to back onto the roller, the bigger the track width, the easier, the better, the faster you can load cars on and off. And this has a two and 15 16 1045 machine ground and polished shaft. So that's where you're going to get all of your speed and horsepower and torque. This one's rated, we call it the 15,000 series because it's rated for 15,000 foot pounds of torque. Uh, 2,400 horsepower, 240 miles an hour. It's pretty impressive. So Allison, the mechanics of the 15,000 series is definitely impressive, but your software helps us take it one step further. Correct. I mean, mechanically, I believe that this is the Lamborghini of dynos in the dyno industry. But what good is it if you have just a mechanical bed? You really need the hardware and the software data acquisition, which highlights all of these wonderful features. So even with something as burly as the 15,000 series, a dyno alone only goes so far. So we're here with Kyle LeBlanc. Kyle, you guys have some killer software. I want to hear what it can do. First of all, our repeatability is unbeatable. You can look at this graph, for example, we can see um, all the data at every single RPM point, and this is extremely repeatable when it's coupled with our dyno systems so that the tuner can focus on the amount of change that they're seeing. They're not uh, focusing on the peak horsepower, but they're looking at each individual RPM point along the way. We can see that all these numbers, you know, they're within 1% or less than 1% accurate in most cases uh, when everything's used properly. So it really gives the tuner the power to be able to go ahead and, uh, and use that repeatability to their advantage. Yeah, lots of repeatability and some impressive data you can collect. I was uh, looking earlier, you were showing me your 3D graph. That's yeah, pretty cool. 3D graph. Yeah, the 3D graph is actually, it's a different way to look at certain data, but can actually give you an easier way to visualize certain things, such as um, horsepower versus boost pressure. It makes it really easy to see gains uh, that you might not pick up in another way. So, You just mentioned boost pressure. We've got some consoles down here that I want to talk about. One of them is, uh, for lack of a better term, it's a boost gauge. Yeah, it's basically, it's our inductive pickup, so you can get the RPM signal from the spark plug wire in the engine bay. Uh, we built a boost sensor into it. Since that sensor box is already going to be in the engine bay, we have a boost pickup right on it. You can plug it in. We have two options for 36 PSI and 101 PSI for our diesel guys running big power. Um, and it just makes it easy so you don't have to have cables all over the place. You literally just have one box in the engine bay and you're good to go. All right, talk to me about this other console. We haven't even uh, discovered that. What's that about? Uh, this right here is the handheld controller. This is what we have that nobody else does. This, you take into the car with you and use this to control the entire dyno without having to keep getting in and out of the car to control it via the computer. You can control every single aspect from the handheld controller so that you can do all of your tuning, all of your run control uh, without getting tired. And you can focus on tuning the car and not running the dyno. So this behind us is the Value Series, and as we've seen here at Dynocom, you guys have something from the Value Series up to the big boys running 15,000 foot-pounds of torque. If folks want more information on what you guys have to offer, where can they go? Uh, Dynocom.net is our main website, or if you're in Europe, Dynocom.eu. Dynocom.net or Dynocom.eu for you international folks. Allison, thanks again for having us out to your booth here at PRI 2013.